on the topic of the, the web client thing, with web clients nowadays being, like, you know, such a standard thing, no matter what email provider you're using, pretty much most of the major ones provide some sort of web client. Why does an email client still matter? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, and a few years ago, I, it would have been, not a few years ago, I've been at Thunderbird for a long time now. Like seven or eight years ago, this would have been a really challenging question for me, but having, there's there's many dimensions to this answer. Mm -hmm. One, data sovereignty. I've now heard of folks who have been locked out of Gmail or their email provider over, you know, even if it's just a misunderstanding mm -hmm. or some 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 just issue, like there's many issues that can pop up, but they get locked out. Okay, they spend months trying to get back in. And during that time, they don't have access to their their like digital life, like, you know, or someone's like, oh, I, I need to find this. I need to read this email. Like having the control of your data and having a local copy of your email mm -hmm. is like very useful um, in that respect. Uh, and of course, you know, there are other people who are like, well, I love that I can be on a plane and not connected to internet and drafting emails or just reviewing emails and or replying to them. And then when I hit the ground, everything goes and, you know, and so there's that too. Um, and then I'll take another tack to answer this question, which is what does your email experience look like using these webmail platforms? Of course, you know, there are good ones, but they're all, but the main ones are bad. <laughs> <laughs> in in a few a few key ways, um, one is they're trying to monetize you, and uh, you know we've recently you like ads had a, in your email client. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, and we've had a lot of people come over who are just like, I don't like that. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't. It feels like, you know, it's not. It, it degrades the email experience, um, and uh, you know there are no ads. In Thunderbird, as we'll get to, there are a couple of donation appeals every year, but mm -hmm. overall, like, but that doesn't show up as an email. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. just you it's know a clear uh, separation. Yeah, and, and that's a problem actually too. Is um, it, it? I, I, it's hard because I I have a Gmail account, mm -hmm. and I had stopped going to Gmail for a while, even though I try to make sure I'm going just to see what's what the experience is like, but I, there was this, there was this time period where I didn't log in to the actual webmail mm -hmm. and, uh, to check out what was, what it looked like. And when I went back, maybe the ads were there the whole time, you know, but I saw them and, and I saw them and I was like, and they look like emails. They're, yep. they're at the top. And I thought that was so gross. And so, and now Outlook's doing that too. And so it's, it's really, um, it's really not uh, a great experience. I think it. I think it really does make the experience worse. And and it's also a little tricky. I know it says ad, but you know, like it it it's not clear separation, and and I don't love that. And so, I don't know. Hey, well, oh, sorry, I was, I was gonna say I don't know how you like go through your emails but when you have like a hundred emails there i don't pay attention to the entire thing i'm like okay who's it from what's the start of the the subject say yeah and it's probably like some nonsense from some website i signed up to a mailing list for and just didn't realize delete 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 i'm not paying attention to like the entire email line unless i'm already sure that like that's an email i care about yeah and and then uh, on that you know kind of related to that, I'll make one more case, mm -hmm. which, uh, well, no, I'll make your case again, mm -hmm. which is uh, you're not having to go up and click your little avatar to change accounts if you have multiple accounts. This is something that on desktop is very helpful. And and, it, and it's just, maybe it's just invisible to me now because I'm so used to having all my, but, you know, with, with the addition to K9 to our family, and me plugging in and really trying to get make sure all my accounts are in there and everything. On mobile, 
it's just like a game changer. Like I just, I'm using the unified inbox. There are a lot of accounts in there. They're color coded so I can see what message the account is associated with. And it just allows me to really quickly manage my email versus Gmail where you're, okay, you're in one account, now click change the user account. And it's just not as fast. And so that makes life simpler and and, make, and doesn't burn your time so much. Um, but the last thing that I'll say is we, we, I talk about this with, with the folks who contribute to Thunderbird all the time, like what, what's another thing that separates us? And that's that a lot of my conversations these past two years have been about what's actually healthy for a person. And I don't, not so many of those features have made it into Thunderbird yet, but mm -hmm. you know what, we're not trying to manipulate your brain to do a specific thing that benefits our bottom line mm -hmm. like there's no dark patterns there's no stickiness like let's get them trapped in their inbox or whatever like we're strictly trying to provide the best email experience period and honestly i freaked out some folks on the team when i said this i would like to find ways to help folks spend less time in their inbox mm -hmm. You know, and know that Thunderbird is the email app that actually helps me not spend, you know, four hours a day in my email, which we some folks tell me that they do. And I'm like, that's not good. <laughs> you know, like that's half your working day spent on email. That's mm -hmm. there's actual work you probably should be doing. And and uh and so, you know, a victory for me will be finding ways to promote well-being around email and around your inbox and helping you get through it so you can do the things that you actually want to do mm -hmm. with your time i definitely want to expand upon that if there's anything that you feel comfortable like saying publicly before it's actually done but before that um the gmail situation is actually the the good example of switching accounts like that's where it's not that inconvenient i started using thundermail at thunder thunderbird I mixed, I put canine mail and Thunderbird together. Thunderbird, <laughs> when I started going to university, because my university, they use Outlook. And then you might have a job that uses something else. And then I have my Gmail. So you've got all of these, yeah. all of these different services. None of the web mails connect to each other. So yeah. you've got to like, just jump around like, okay, wait, was it on this service? Was it on that service? And it's just a giant nightmare to actually manage that. Then you have something like Thunderbird and it's just like, all there. Yep. The box. It's done. And that's that's a good point. And that's that's the that's the killer thing. Like I think about a family member, and it's so funny because you're so deep in in it sometimes mm -hmm. that you forget about the best pitches for it. Because mm -hmm. I remember a family member being like, they had their Yahoo account, they had their yeah. Gmail account, they had their whatever work account, and they were like, and we were talking about Thunderbird and and it wasn't right away, it was like partway through the conversation, I was like, no, no, no. Actually, you know what? If you use Thunderbird, you can have all these in one place. Yep. And they were like, holy crap. I didn't, you know, like they didn't even consider that they weren't like super tech savvy, but they didn't even consider that there's a product that could yeah. save them that time of app switching and, and, and put that information in one place. And what's also cool about that is it's all in Thunderbird and it's all those accounts are searchable. You know, whereas like if they're in these different data, they're in these different places, they, you can't search across them, you know, but in Thunderbird, you'll be, you'll actually be able to say like, actually, I don't remember if that came in on that, my junk email address or my real email address, but if I search Thunderbird, I'll find it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's a, that's a killer feature too. It's a good, I'm glad you're here, Brody. <laughs>